Hello, and welcome back to another Ravenna Railfan 4070 HO scale review. Today, we're looking at the Bachman Spectrum Baldwin 52-inch driver 460 with DCC in sound. This particular locomotive is the Southern 1004, and while I'm not much of a Southern modeler, I bought this locomotive because of the white walls on the drivers. Uh, if any of you have seen my ghost story, Phantom of the Northeastern Line, it was a little audio thing I did a while back for Halloween 2020, I believe. Um, basically, this locomotive is going to become Northeastern 23, the ghost engine, and I'm going to make some ghost cars for it. So, what I'm doing is I bought a extra... Uh, engine shell and tender shell that'll be solid white so this will be a normal locomotive most of the year and then I can transform it into that ghost engine at my discretion but that's another story so more on that another time let's go ahead and get into the review all right so first let's get into the packaging as you may know spectrum is opposite of the standard Bachman stuff um a normal Bachman locomotive, blue is DCC on board and red is sound. Spectrum is just the reverse. I don't know why they did that. It's kind of confusing, but the blue box on the Spectrum does mean sound. So, take the top off there. And we have... Pretty standard packaging for one of these Spectrum locomotives. You also have a DVD and an instruction manual. And then I just uh, slid off this little sheath here a moment ago. And this pops open. Got a little pad there to uh, protect the roof. I have already opened this and test run it once to make sure it worked for the review and that's why um, that plastic doesn't look exactly right a little hard to get out of the package but not bad And there she is. Okay, let's look at our instruction manual and see what she can do. Okay, so I do want to apologize there I did not realize track power was on. It's not a good practice to be taking the engines off and on uh, powered track because you don't want to short them out in any way. Okay, without further ado, let's dig in here. So you've got your pilot with your steps here. You have uh, your little number on the front of the smoke box. You have marker lights they do not light up, but they are there. Uh, I got a number on the side of the headlight. And you have the smokestack. On this particular engine, there is a number on the steam dome as well. You, of course, have your driving rods, your catwalks, your big pressure chambers, a builder plate. Uh, some of the jewelry of the engine here, you have your bell, a whistle, and your steam dome going on there. The cab, traditional of southern engines in this paint, has the red on the door and the window. And you have F11, which is the class underneath the number. Again, the number is on the tender. You do have this hatch up on the roof. Okay, you... so then moving towards the tender, you of course have the water cap and the coal load. Uh, the number is on the rear with this ladder. Let's see if we can get some better lighting in the cab here the camera to focus there you go you can kind of see there's a 
full interior there as far as your uh, firebox and your cabin controls. And there is an engineer and a fireman on the respective sides of the locomotive. There's also a foot plate across from the engine to the tender. I just put that up. And that is pretty much the locomotive. Even white walls on the tender. I like that on these. Big fan of the white walls. Come back around to the front of the engine for you. And there you have it. Let's see what she can do. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply track power. There we go. Sounds start to kick in right away. We're going to go through the basic sounds that are listed in the quick start guide and then a couple of other special features that I'm not going to show at the present time. Of course, let's start with uh, function one here, which is the bell. Whistle. That's your long whistle, F2. F3 is your short whistle. So here's your crossing sequence. Then your cylinder blowdown, which is quite loud on this engine. Really like the sound of that. Finally, F5, you guys are gonna love this one. Here is the dynamo. And the headlight would, of course, normally come on with this. I'll show you that in a second. F6 is your water stop. So you heard the cap open, the water being filmed, and then the uh, hose being moved away from the tower, and the cap closed again. F7 is your coupler. And F8 is, of course, mute. Then F0 or F10 is your headlight. There we go. Kind of hard to see in this lighting. Let me get to the front of the locomotive. Not the brightest thing in the world, but it does its job. Doesn't look so modern, kind of looks almost more of a kerosene style headlight. And that is your list of functions. So let's go ahead and uh, get her going. One more item of note before we get the engine going that I want to point out is I believe it's CV197. You can make this little thing do uh, automatic 
forward and reverse whistles and a grade crossing sequence if you choose uh, anything else you're interested in take a look at the quick start guide or the dvd is also extremely helpful with that in mind let's get the 1004 going i'm going to back her up first and then uh, move her towards the camera here So I'm in speed step one. I'm already moving, but with a little bit of hesitation. Smoothing out by about speed step two or three. And we'll bring her to a stop. And here she comes. Again, I'm gonna leave this on speed step one to start with. And that way, uh, what we'll do is we'll speed up as we go by the camera to show you the progression. Now I have noticed the chuffing is a little bit fast on this locomotive for the rotation to the wheels. So that's something that I will need to adjust. Uh, not super hard to do though. So there's speed step one, here's two, three, four, and five. And it's running quite smoothly by then. And you have a brake squeal as well, which is also nice. Here we come backwards, speed step one. Two. Three. Four. And five. This engine being a Spectrum, and also uh, equipped with a Soundtracks decoder means you can set this to 14, 28, or 128 speed step system. And there you have it. Let's see what she can do pulling a train. And that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Uh, like I said, this is a very nice, well-detailed engine. I like it operationally. My only complaint was that the sound wasn't matched up with how fast the wheels were turning, which, like I said, is an easy fix. Until next time, Ravenna Railfin 4070 out.